we move on to the second topic that is to find the limit algebraically or graphically if it exists. Here, there might be problems where the graph is given or you need to draw the graph by yourself and find it out. Anyways, the method, numerical method is same, you know, algebraic just substitution, it's going to be the same because equations will be given. But when it's graph, you'll be only given this much and you need to find the limits or at all these places. First of all, there are a few important things to know in this topic. Continuity is something that is like, you know, a smooth curve and it's continuous where you can draw a graph without moving your pen. Say, for example, a sine graph. It's continuous. Now, if you have a point like this and then a hole and then it continue, uh, continues the graph, this is not continuous. Or you can see there is a point over here and this, but that particular function is defined somewhere over here. There is a point over here. So say this is x value of 3. So f of 3 is defined at this particular point, but x minus value and plus value of the limit x tends to 3 from the negative or the positive side will be different, whereas f of 3 will be different. So in such cases, the limit is having a jump discontinuity. It's kind of like that. But anyways, we will start solving these problems. You'll understand better. Limit as 0. See, where is 0? x is 0, right? That's the center over here. From the left side, that's negative side means the left side. As x tends to 0, minus would mean from the left. Whereas if it was a right, as x tends to 0 from the positive means the right side. Now, here it is minus. So just look at the left side part of the graph, left side. Where is it? It's over here. The answer must be minus 2 here. Why? Because it's at the left side. Whereas at the right side, if you see the right side, what is the answer? It's a hole, but the answer is 2. Okay, we are not exactly seeing this point. We are seeing this nearest point where it is corresponding or approaching. Therefore, what is the limit over here? Do we have a single point? No, we call it undefined. This limit does not exist over here, okay? Limit doesn't, does not exist. So this is the answer. Now let's see another point, minus 2. What is the value at, from the left side? Whereas over here, you can see left side is corresponding to 2. Even the right side is corresponding to 2. Both of these are corresponding to 2. And what is the exact limit? It is 2 itself because left and right limit correspond to each other. They are equal. Now g over here is at minus 1. The minus 1 is over here. It's at 0. And at 1, this is 1 from the plus side, it is also 1. So this is it basically 1. Just see which point is asked, x value, and then look at look into the graph. These are the answers. You can see it's minus 2, 2, then 3, 2s. And over here it was 0, and right side over here it was 1. This is how we basically solve it. Um, now... Over here, I just realized h is minus 3. Let's just do this as well. What about minus 3? It's 1 also. So even 1 from negative side, from left side, it's the same thing. Even 3, it's 1. one. The answer is 1. Doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, in this case, coincidentally, it's the same thing. But if you understand the method to solve, it's very easy. Now, over here, you have more problems. I mean, more uh, same graph, but more different points so please make sure you understand the concept of this being left side if it's minus it's being left side plus is right side then it's very easy so try this out by yourselves you can pause the video and try it out by yourselves i hope you got the answers right which is very easy over here one from the left side x is 1. See, this value, don't think this is minus 1, it's just this value. And then the sign tells you from the left or right, for 1, it's over here. So this is uh, around 1 itself. This will be 1. What about from the right side? It's the same thing because it's continuous at this point. So 
it's also one and the limit exists over here at one itself what about two two is this part one two from the left side yes you have an answer that is minus one here but what about from the plus positive side it will be positive three isn't it right side it's plus three and this does not exist limit does not exist that's d and e and what about three negative let's see where is three one two three negative it's somewhere over here right it's not so straight but anyways i think so it's about half i'm not sure it might be 3.5 here and what about minus three minus three is this let's uh i think so it is about minus one uh, sorry positive 1.25 or nearly half i guess i'm not sure about this it's somewhere over here in the middle so these are the values just look closely where is minus three draw a straight line if you use a scale accurately and then draw a straight line here you will get the exact point same thing over here positive three this thing okay um you use a scale because you need to be accurate let's look uh Oh, this is 2.5. Look over here. It's between 2 and 3. I don't know why I wrote 3.5. My bad. It is 2.5. This one. It's C over here. I've drawn the line. It's between 2 and 3. So it's 2.5 clearly. And this is 1.5. I was not so sure because I thought it's 1.25. But if you draw, uh, draw a scale, draw it properly, you will get it correct. And all the others are same. This is very, very easy and straightforward. This is the method if the graph is given because you will have does not exist and everything but if the graph is not given you can sketch the graph later but we can define them easily from the piecewise see they have given you identify each limit so we will define each limit because over here it's given right so how do we do this is two from the left side now what does this exactly mean let me just write it over here this x tends to 2 from the negative side means left or less than or less than equal to if it's a right this is minus plus means it's greater than or greater than equal to now whenever you see 2 minus where is x less than 2 here use this equation so you will have to use 2 right x is 2 over here so 2 into 2 will be 4 this is the answer now what about this right side here Plus means this equation, it's going to be 2 square. 2 square is 4 again. Doesn't matter. And what is the answer over here? See, both are same. So you directly write the answer. That is 4. You don't write undefined because it's the same. What about this one? Limit at 1. 1 over here will be 2 times 1. That is uh, 2. So left side limit over here at x equals 1 is 2. Sorry. Okay, this is the answer. And what about the positive side? See, now over here. Oh, sorry, one second. Let me just uh, reiterate it because I, I saw this and I directly chose this upper value. Why? Because x equals 1. Where does it fall in? Which equation? x is less than 2, right? It falls in the first equation. That's why I directly took this equation. But now look over here. 3. x is greater than or equal to 2, right? So 3 will fall over here. That would be... 3, uh, 3 squared is 9. So these would be the answers over here. You should know which equation for where depending on the x values. You can see the answers are 4, 4, 4 and 2 and 9. That's it. And this is the graph over here. You can check the graph as well. Graph is very simple. Till this point 2, there will be one graph that is a linear graph of 2x. Then it is a uh, quadratic graph, x squared graph. Again, we have a similar problem, but there are three piecewise defined functions. That means there are three uh, points over here, three different uh, defined, differently defined, and different equations or different inequalities. <laughs> okay. So we you can see less than, greater than, equal to also is meant. Let's solve them one by one. When zero, negative, left side, see, all these are defined at zero. Yes, these points are zero, but which is less than zero here? So all you need to do is put this as 0, answer would be a negative 1. Now what if it's a right side of 0, then this is the answer greater than 0. 
x is 0, 0 plus 1 root 1 is 1 minus 2, that will be again minus 1. Why? Because this is 0 plus 1, it's 1. Square root of 1 is 1 itself, minus 2 would be negative 1. Now, what about the limit at x equals 0? It's not negative 1, it's given as 0. So basically, the limit over here does not exist. It can be a jump discontinuity because the graph over here, both the sides are coming. See, both the graphs are coming like this, like this. But actually at 0, the point is defined at this particular value. Okay, Here it is a hole then. That is the thing. I, I don't know how exactly is the graph, but that's a rough, rough denotion. Now, okay, let's just, uh, anyways, we will just continue from here. What about minus one? Minus one will fall less than zero. So just put over here, minus one. It will be minus one cube minus one. When you take odd powers of a negative number, the minus sign remains. You can put it in calculator directly. But anyways, it'll be minus 1, minus 1. This will be minus 2. And what about 1 from the negative side? 1 is x is greater than 0, this one. Just that you have to substitute over here. Square root 1 plus 1 minus 2. That will be square root 2 minus 2. Okay. Um, that will be some value. Uh, did I do anything wrong? That's it. Uh, I'm not sure about the question. Let me... Okay, see the thing is obvious. I'm sorry. The uh, the question is supposed to be positive three, not one to the power minus one left side. This is wrong. It's supposed to be three. Let's see when it's three. Uh, this is not the exact question. I'm sorry for that. Now let's quickly look over here. If it is three, that means it will be greater than one. So it will be square root. 1, uh, 3 plus 1 minus 1. What is square root of 4 minus 2? Square root of 4 is 2 minus 2, that is 0. So this would be basically last one. It should be supposed to be 3 over here. That's equal to 0. All the others are correct. Now we can see the graph. You can see over here in the graph. Now if you had graphed it accurately, I just knew the point 1 would be a hole. Why? Because I'm having minus one from the left side minus one from the right side but they are not touching over here because when i substitute this x value here i know that's zero that means there's a jump discontinuity because there's a hole over here but the right side limit and left side limit are approaching that value but this particular thing is at a different point so here f of x is defined at zero because it's of the jump discontinuity and that's it for this topic. It's a very simple one. Uh, please do go through more type of problems on the same topic because the topics are same. It's just that you will have a different problem altogether. Try to find different cases. If you have any doubts or questions, please do ask them in the comment. I'll, I'll get back to you soon.